Heads of state from the continent are attending the summit online from their countries. The opening session of the summit was chaired by President Cyril Ramaphosa, who requested for a moment of silence in honor of those in the continent who have succumbed to COVID-19. I'd also like to thank the international community without whose support the chairship of the AU for 2020 would have been far more daunting as a mission. I also want to thank the heads of the various AU institutions as well as the staff of the AU Commission for all the support that they gave us during this period. And Your Excellencies, it has been a joy to serve alongside all of you during this period. And as I hand over to His Excellency, President Felix Chisekedi, I hand over with joy knowing that the work that I took over from President Al-Sisi will indeed be continued under the leadership of President Chisekedi. The two-day summit will have a very streamlined agenda. It will majorly discuss the progress of the continent in responding to the COVID-19 pandemic. Most parts of the continent are awaiting vaccines. Few like South Africa, Morocco, Egypt and Seychelles have begun immunization. The Africa Centers for Diseases Control and Prevention has warned that a second wave that has hit the continent is proving to be more fatal. The heads of state will also discuss the progress made on implementing institutional reforms in the African Union. This year, the continent will merge commissions and have six instead of eight. Despite the gloom that the pandemic has cast, the summit has applauded some progress made in setting the African continental free trade area in motion, as well as efforts to bring peace and stability in parts of the continent. It has, however, noted that conflicts persist in other areas and more needs to be done to silence the guns. The Democratic Republic of Congo has taken over as the chair of the African Union for this year. President Felix Shisekedi is in Addis Ababa to attend the AU meeting from the AU headquarters. Koleto Anjohi, SABC News, Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. The African Union Commission will continue being led by Musa Faki Muhammad. 55 out, rather 51 out of 55 member states voted to extend his tenure at the helm. He will be deputized by Dr. Monique Nsazabangwa from Rwanda. Both will be serving four-year terms.